What's up, insiders? Today we're going to be going over the Omir Armadillo. Big question is, is this a really nice atomizer or is it roadkill? Make sure you watch the whole review, find out exactly what I think. Before we get into the video, make sure you check out our new merch site. You can get my tagline on a shirt or a hoodie. Look at that. Not a bad looking atomizer. I don't know about that armadillo on the barrel, but all right. I don't know exactly what that has to do with vaping. I guess they're trying to say the deck looks like the shape of an armadillo. Hey, you got some armadillo branding on there, all right? Got a little bit of roughness over here so you can adjust your airflow. I guess that's kind of neat, right? You can see Cyclops style airflow, right? does have a locking barrel system that I'll show you in a second. Nice wide drip tip, but it does taper down towards the center. It is a goon style drip tip. It's not really a goon style drip tip, and let me show you why. Yes, the O-ring's in the middle, but you see how tall that deck is, how that deck comes up to the top? You need a, a drip tip with a short stem like that. On the bottom of the atomizer, we have some armadillo branding, gold-plated 510, the traditional one, insulator ring around it, stainless steel threading around that. Over here, you have a Phillips head negative post screw designed by Omir and DCD. I don't know who DCD is, but this is their atomizer. I'm not crazy about that armadillo on the barrel. I mean, who the hell wants an armadillo on their barrel? It just doesn't make sense. There's your cutout right there. I'll show you in a second for your locking barrel system. I do like that part. On the inside of the top cap, eh, a little bit of a conical design, not much. Okay, now you can see that's where your barrel locks into place. All right, you can see the notches on the bottom right there. There is the deck. Wacky looking deck, man. I don't understand why they went with such small post holes. These post holes are actually tiny. I don't like it. You had all this metal here. Why didn't you bang those post holes out? I just don't get it. O-ring tolerance on it is okay. You got a nice deep juice well, that's for sure. When you squonk, it comes in between the two blocks, so that's kind of cool. Make sure when you lay your cotton down, you don't block it off, all right? Now, the other thing is they went with flathead screws, and I don't understand, man. Why, especially on an RDA like this, you would go with flathead screws? Because they, they kind of go in at a weird angle, and it's kind of hard to angle your flathead screwdriver on them. I don't like flatheads to begin with in most decks. I just don't like them at all. I would much rather have hex screws, and my second choice would be Phillips. My last choice would be flathead screws, and I don't understand why these companies do this. It's just, you know... Just doesn't make any sense, man. It really doesn't. So you can see I got my post holes open, all right? I'm going to be using the two bottom ones. I'm kind of going to use it like a velocity-style deck. I'm going to leave these two on top closed. So we're going to use the bottom one over there, the middle one over there, and we're just going to pop it in there just like so. Push it in a little bit. Hold your finger on it. Do whatever you got to do to keep it there. And then you're gonna have the awkward experience of using these flathead screws. Very, very awkward. I just don't like them, man. Not at all, not on this deck. Just silly, man. Same thing on the other side, kind of push them in. The middle one's not that bad. It's not as awkward as the outer edge ones, but still just not easy to work with. And you can see those post holes are so small, you really don't have to screw down a lot. You really don't. It's just, I don't know why those post holes are so small. Now we're going to take our coiling rod. We're going to get in there. We're going to get them out of the way a little bit for the next coil. Once you're all done with positioning and everything, get your clippers in there as flush as you can and just give it a snip. Same thing on the other side. Get them in there flush. Bang. They're out of the way now. All right, now we're going to work on the other side. Same process on this side. We're going to use the bottom one over here, the top one over here. We're going to push our coil in as far as we can get it. And now we're going to take our flathead screwdriver and we're going to work it in there, get that post screw down. 
Same thing on the other side, screw it down. Make sure your leads are nice and tight. And now we're gonna go after our leads. Get your clipper in there. Make sure you don't clip the one you just installed. Boom. Same thing over here. Clipper in there. Boom. Now we're gonna play with our coil adjustment a little bit. I think this side can come down a little bit. That's kind of what you want it to look like. Let's make sure we're hitting our airflow. See that right there? The airflow's right in front of the coil. That's where you want it. We're oming out at 0.12. Let's burn these in. Make sure we're glowing nice and even. And there we go. We're glowing nice and even from the inside out. That's how you want them. See that? Very nice. We're oming out at about 0.16 right now. Now you take your nice piece of Platinum Blend by Native Wix, put it right in there, and send it right through just like that with some nice tension. Now you take your vape shears, give it a snip, and we're going to work on the other end. We'll trim them up so they hit the bottom of the deck in a minute, okay? Same thing on the other side. You can see we're nice and tight. That's how you want it, all right? And now, where you want to cut these wicks is, you want to cut these wicks right along this base part right here. See that part that sticks up? That's where you want to run your scissor along and give those wicks a cut, just like that. Same thing on the other side. You want to just cut right along that base right there, okay? And that's what your wick should look like. We'll trim this one up a little bit, something like that. Now, all you got to do is take your vape shears and just tuck those wicks in, man, nice and easy. And that's what your RDA should look like. Juice we're going to be using today is this juice I picked up at NVE. It's from Ferrum City Liquid. It's this juice called Poured. It's funnel cake and vanilla cream. It is absolute fire. Now we're just going to get this coil nice and wet, nice and juicy. Get that cotton all saturated. Fill up that juice well a little bit. Get everything nice and saturated. Let's make sure we have vape. Oh yeah, we got vape. Put the top cap on, let's pop this thing on a mod, and let's vape on it. Also included in the box is an Armadillo RDA user manual, some cotton, you also get a tri-tool, some decent looking coils, some spare o-rings, some spare deck screws, and you get a squonking pin as well. All right, insiders, let's get into the cons and pros for the Armadillo. First con's gonna be, I pointed it out down low, those post holes are way too small. It's a con. Next con's gonna be those flathead grub screws. I don't like them, especially the way they're angled on the post. Give me a break, man. They should have been hex keys. You gotta be kidding me. Bad, bad job putting those flathead grub screws in there. No 510 drip tip adapter? Con. Last con's gonna be very limited color selection. Some people like to have their colors. You can't have them on this RDA. Very, very limited color selection. But that's it on the con. Some nitpicky stuff. Let's get into the pros. First pro is going to be three terminals per post. That's kind of cool. That's a pro. It's got good flavor and clouds. Let me show you what I'm working with here, man. I got a 0.13 build in there right now. 85 watts. Check it out. Nothing wrong with that, right? Flavor's good, I can't complain. It's got good flavor, really nice cloudage. That's a pro. Another pro is gonna be, if you like running long coils with a lot of wraps, you're gonna like this atomizer because you can get some long coils in there, it's a pro. Locking barrel system, the stock drip tip is comfortable. Airflow on this thing is really nice and smooth. Let me show you what I'm talking about, listen. Yeah, it's kind of smooth, man. Little bit, little bit wispy, I'll cut it down halfway. Halfway, it's really smooth. So, you know, wide open, it's smooth. Halfway, it's even smoother. You cut it down even more, let's say three quarters. It's smooth, man. So I gotta give them credit for that. Smooth airflow. And the last pro is gonna be, it does have a nice, deep juice well. I like that, it's a pro. So that's it, insiders. Let's talk about the Armadillo a little bit. Is it a nice RDA, or is it just roadkill? I gotta say, man, it's a nice RDA. It's nothing like, oh my God, but 
you know, you get good flavor off of it. You get really nice clouds. It's got smooth airflow. The biggest issue with it are those tiny post holes. I don't know what the hell Omir was thinking. They should have made them a lot bigger. They definitely had the room on that block to make them a lot bigger. So I don't understand why they cheaped out on the tiny post holes. But if you can put up with that and you're going to run it like a velocity deck like I did when I built it, you won't have any issues, you know. You'll be able to get a decent sized Clapton in there and the flavor is very good and the clouds are very good. So if it's something that you're interested in, it's got a little bit of a unique build deck, definitely go out and check it out. Let's go over some of the specs on the Omir Armadillo RDA. It's 24 millimeters in diameter. It has three terminals per post dual coil configuration. It's available in gold, matte black, and matte silver. Thanks for watching the video, insiders. Definitely appreciate it. Remember, we're not a monetized channel, so we'd appreciate it if you check out our new merch store. You can get my tagline on a shirt like you see me wearing, or you can get it on a hoodie as well. We have some other great designs that you can put on a t-shirt or a hoodie. Here's another one of them, Vape King shirt. And here's one of my personal favorites, Vape so hard, the FDA wanna find me. Go over to our new store and check it out. And that's it, Insiders. That's all I got for you guys today. You keep living that vape life. We're out of here. Deuces.